Hello everyone, this is Katie Colleen here. Welcome back Colleen Clan. Or if you are new, then come join the family. Today we are doing a review of the Luffy Punk Hazard cosplay from Cause Inspire. Not sponsored, I bought this cosplay completely with my own money and Cause Inspire does not know I'm doing this video. In fact, if they did know I was doing this video, they might ask me not to. So I got this cosplay for a collab group photo shoot thing. Before we get into, you know, the construction and the quality of the costume and the price point, I really want to talk about the customer service from Cause Inspire because their customer service and their standards of communication with customers is the reason I will not be shopping from them again. All of this stuff with customer service happened before the costume arrived. Uh, so, you know, in favor of keeping this in chronological order, I'm going to start with the customer service stuff and then we'll get into the costume. So I joined the One Piece collab December 14th and it was scheduled for January 14th. Now I've been doing this for a while. I know how long it takes to make a costume. Uh, I know how long it generally takes to ship these things from where they are manufactured in China. So I was not expecting this costume to really be ready in a month. <laughs> I'll join the group and I'm just gonna communicate very clearly what I'm doing. And when we get a tracking number for the shipping on this costume, then we can reschedule the collab if we need to. Uh, but I'm certainly, not going to hold it against any company that they couldn't get an order here within a month. Like, I am very much aware of shipping delays and how long it takes to make these things. So I put in an order with Cause Inspire on December 14th. I got the whole Luffy Punk Hazard outfit and the hat. So when you order the costume, they do ask for a date of when you would like to wear it. And I put in January 14th just because that was the original day we were planning on doing the collab, but I figured it would not actually show up that quickly and we would just reevaluate once I got tracking info. So I ordered the costume and I receive a invoice email, just a like a receipt, and I wait to receive another email, like we're working on it or it's shipping out or tracking number here and I don't receive anything. <laughs> Uh, so I decided to reach out to their customer service after Christmas. Uh, I could expect delays around Christmas time anyways. So I look at their customer service email and their customer service email is something like causebaby5 at hotmail.com and I'm like, oh no. So I reach out to causebaby5 uh, and I send an email that's something like, hey, I know I gave you a wear date that's only a month out and I'm aware that there are shipping delays around the holidays. That's fine. If you have not started on the costume, could I maybe cancel it? And I get an email back that says something like, your costume's completely done, we're shipping it out this week. So I figured I would receive some sort of, you know, tracking number in my email later that week. I think it was only like a few days later that the hat showed up in the mail. Uh, the hat is not custom sized, <laughs> so I imagine they just have a warehouse like full of these things. Uh, so the hat showed up and I thought that's strange. I didn't receive any shipping information for the hat. They didn't tell me when it shipped out and I didn't have any track shipping and they didn't tell me anything. It just showed up at my door weird but I was like okay but this is just like a little ten dollar hat uh, it probably shipped from a different warehouse I'm sure they'll give me shipping info for the costume so I can get back to my people in the collab and be like hey this is one I'm actually expecting for us to show up let's move the collab back a few weeks if we need to and uh, wow uh, they just don't send any shipping information whatsoever no tracking information literally nothing. You get that invoice email and then you do not hear anything from this company until the costume shows up at your door. So should there be delays in shipping? Should the costume get lost in shipping? Should it get stolen? Uh, I'm not really sure how that's handled because they have no way to prove they even sent it as far as I can tell. 
looking at when this person said that the costume would be shipped out i didn't think it would arrive for the collab in time and i had no information to know when it would be here so we could not reschedule this collab uh, there was no date we could pick that would make me feel like the costume would be there in time so i said look guys let's go forward with january 14th and i'm just going to do a closet cosplay i had a christmas coat that i made a few years ago and i just threw something together i already had the hat you may notice that this costume actually is in that collab and that's because it arrived less than 24 hours before the photo shoot uh, but i had no way of knowing if it could have and it would have taken only you know one small thing going wrong for it to not arrive in time i'm sorry but i'm not gonna buy from companies that cannot provide track shipping or estimates on when stuff will be here uh, at least not with cosplay like i'm running a cosplay youtube channel guys i need a little bit more planning uh, for my costumes. So that was my biggest problem was just, I had no idea when this was gonna get here. That's enough about the customer service stuff for now. Let's get into the actual costume. <laughs> okay, so the first thing that arrived was the hat. Um, I did make a few alterations to, I think every piece of this costume. <laughs> so with the hat, it did have like an elastic strap here and I tore that out and replaced it with string uh, just because I didn't like where it was hanging. <laughs> I didn't like where the hat was hanging around the neck with the elastic. So I switched it out with string to look more like it does in the anime. And then uh, I feel like this is kind of an obnoxious yellow color. So I also tried dyeing it with coffee. Like I literally just took straight black coffee and painted it onto this hat. Uh, I'm not sure if it really worked. I can put some before and after footage and you can let me know if it looks any darker now. Um, it smells exciting now that I painted it with coffee. But this hat was $10. As long as they gave me something, it was gonna be worth it for the price point. Like I'm not expecting something amazing for $10. Okay, moving on, moving on. Oh, wow. So something special about Cause Inspire is that they don't do standard sizing. So most places will have small, medium, and large and a sizing chart. Cause Inspire doesn't do that. Every costume is custom fit. So when you order the costume, you'll give your bust, waist, and hip measurements, your height. Uh, they ask if you want male or female. I, I don't know. I just choose male if I'm cosplaying as a guy. Then they custom make your costume, which I think is really cool. So for the coat, I think it is also good for the price point. The entire coat and accessories for this cosplay, I think was around $90, uh, kind of 90, 100 range. And uh, I think this is pretty good quality for that cost. So the coat is still fully lined, which is nice. <laughs> The outside layer is a kind of thin, what, what should I call this? It's fuzzy. I wouldn't quite call it a fleece. And the outside fabric is actually so thin that you can see through the white <laughs> into the seam allowance on the inside. So it's so thin it is a bit see-through for a winter coat. They have no intermediate layer, so there's absolutely no insulation. Really, if I were to give this garment a classification, I would probably call it a dress instead of a coat. Uh, it really has like the thickness and weight of a dress. Uh, so there's no layers in between. However, they did put in shoulder pads. And I think this is kind of genius to give the illusion of a coat, but cut down on the cost. Now for the front, they do have some snap closures. Uh, the closures only go down to the waist. And originally, I was so confused why the closures would stop at the waist. Why would you not just have the closures go all the way down? And why would it stop there when this coat is supposed to go all the way down to the ankles? And I was so confused until I realized that most people stand. Most people stand during their photo shoots. And when you're standing, this hangs 
closed in the front. But if you are sitting, perhaps you are a wheelchair user like me, then, you know, it, it does this weird thing where it just, it looks kind of silly. <laughs> So the alterations I did make to this coat is I did add some big hook and eyes along the front. So when I am using the wheelchair, I just hook these together in front and they basically act like the snaps do. Just some more closures like that. And there we go. I really like the fit of this. When I put in my measurements, I did round up just a little bit. It is a little bit big, but I think that really helps for the coat look. And on top of that, we were doing the collab at a snow park. It was very cold and I was able to fit a sweatshirt and a heavy coat under this. <laughs> the craftsmanship itself is also very nice. Uh, getting stripes like this to match up can be very difficult. So if you look at the seams, this is very nice. Uh, so this is the underarm seam and you can see how it lines up. Like it looks like a continuous color block, right? Even at the center seam. So the sewing is very good. So my only complaints on the coat is just they didn't have enough budget. Uh, the people sewing it clearly knew what they were doing. The fit is really nice. That's also a craftsmanship thing. They just didn't have the budget. And that's because you cannot make a coat this long for less than $100. Like the materials alone is way more than $100. <laughs> like getting enough fleece to go all the way down to my ankles, nah, nah. That's more than $100 just for the outside layer in fleece. Let's talk accessories uh, because the accessories were definitely the weakest point in the quality of this costume. So here is our scarf. Um, it has a snap in front. You just wear it like this. This scarf is underwhelming. That's how I would describe it. So I replaced it with this one. My aunt actually knitted this scarf for me. A custom knit scarf. It looks lovely. Uh, so the scarf I'm wearing in the pictures from that photo shoot is this scarf. And the scarf from Cause Inspire is now my new makeup headband. Um, so I just uh, use it like this and it's actually like just the right size to hold back my hair when I do makeup and it is really cute. Oh, uh, it snapped on my hair now. So these are gloves that came with the costume and look, Cosplay Factory gloves, I've never seen a good pair. <laughs> if you've ever seen a good pair of gloves come from a cosplay shop, I'd love to know because it is always the weakest point of a costume pretty much 100% of the time. So with these gloves, uh, they don't have a gusset to them as in they're like all one piece. They don't have a separate piece for the thumb. And the other thing that's hard for me is, look at this, which side is the thumb and which is the pinky? Because there's no gussets, and it doesn't fit around the thumb and the pinky very well that it's just all like wrinkled up especially when you like make a fist yeah not using these either um i am not sure if i can reuse the fabric but i will certainly put it in my stash and try to use it for something else uh, i ended up wearing these gloves instead uh, so these are really nice <laughs> uh, pleather gloves they were like $50, but I wear them every day. And a nice pair of new pleather gloves that's well fitted, yeah, it's gonna be 50 plus. So again, I can't really fault them for having really low quality gloves with the budget they were given. And the earmuffs were basically unusable when they arrived. Uh, I'll put some B-roll on screen of what they looked like. But the way they constructed these earmuffs, it's they had wire going around the black headband part, but the wire did not go into the actual muff of the ear. <laughs> so I ended up tearing this apart and adding wire into the muff part of the earmuff on either side and then hand sewing it back together. So this way the earmuffs are actually like stuck to my head. Uh, unfortunately, because I added so much wire in here, 
they're a bit shorter now. <laughs> they're not quite as long because I had to add so much extra stuff in there and there's only so much fabric. Yeah, I ended up using these earmuffs for the collab with the alterations to add the wire in so they didn't hang weird. Really, the, the quality is not bad for the cost. It's really not. Uh, I could not make this for less than $100. Really all the accessories I had to completely replace or heavily modify. I think they should just get rid of those, only sell the coat, and just make it a little bit nicer quality. Uh, you can tell they're on a budget and I can't really blame them for the quality on this. Uh, so I did already get some nice photos and videos of the collab, but this costume didn't fit quite as well because it was very, very cold and I had so many layers under it. So I'm gonna get into this costume again with less layers under it so it fits a bit better. And I'd also like to wear the sandals I bought. It was way too cold to wear sandals at the collab. I'm glad I gave it another go without all the winter layering under it. I do think this costume looks much better without wearing two coats under it and with actually wearing the sandals. Uh, I'm a little disappointed that there was still some gapping between the snaps, even without all the layers under it, uh, but that could also be because I'm sitting down and that's kind of contributing to some of that. Uh, it, it's a fine costume for the price point. Uh, you'll probably want to do a few alterations, uh, but for what you pay, it's good. I just, uh, I'm not gonna buy from them again. I, I can't get over having no track shipping whatsoever. Uh, but let me know in the comments, like, are you a person who's okay not having track shipping? But for me, it's a deal breaker. Feel free to let me know if that's something that you look for in a cosplay shop or not. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.